I really want to work for uh, some films. Uh -huh. So I studied at the USC film scoring program. Oh. <laughs> yeah. When I work for some film, uh, before recording session, I need to show some uh, music uh, to the producer or director. So I need to play, I need to uh, record that with some sample library. Actually, to, to be composer, we need many um, equipment and then we need to spend that much money. But sometimes it's really confused um, to use the many equipment at the same time, mm -hmm. connecting, connecting or something. If we, if we can uh, use uh, uh, many equipment, um, as a just one, some, some mu multiplex, <laughs> some <laughs> <channel>. <laughs> can I say? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be awesome then also. Yeah, I think it almost covers one, uh, one, one to get that you can just like that equipment, I think, mm. yeah, if it's possible. If it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you're ready to see it now. Um, Basically, what you would probably do is start out playing something on the piano. Now, not all the notes are right on the keyboard, but all the keys work. And you see me, I can do more than one at the same time. Do chords. I could do a whole bunch at the same time. It would sound bad. I can... Drag across. <laughs> Sometimes it it works better in the nighttime. Um, uh, so then you can see that the keys are lining up blue right now. Um, but what you would probably want to do is do you know since it's multi-touch and it's virtual, when you went into something like record mode, if you press the record button, maybe you let the person know they're in record mode and change the keys to red. Now you can also see up here in the sequencer track, uh, I'm not recording notes because I'm not that fancy, um, but I am recording, so I'm not recording uh, scores, but I am recording the notes that are touched. So if I touch uh, C or B, <laughs> I should practice my piano, B will show up, and a few more. So after I'm done with that, and I go out of recording mode, yeah. I might want to do something like adjust the volume on a particular track. And I can just slide this up here, or touch to put it in a certain place. might want to adjust something like left, right, or front, back. So we got our little knobs here. Now the cool thing is that these are analogous to what you'd be using in the physical world. So you can do the exact same thing, cl or close to it, that you would normally be doing. Uh, but now everything is virtual and all in one place for you. So after you do that, you might want to go ahead and review your video. So if we go ahead and hit play. And go ahead and have our video. Uh, I can move the video a r window around, but I'm not going to right now. I can increase the volume. I can, uh, let's put the volume a little bit back up. I can also scrub. Oh. I should be able to scrub through the video. To the place where I want. And review it that way. window 
around. So that was just a quick demonstration of the prototype that we have so far. Um, I hope you have fun watching. No wonder they pay me so much. <laughs> Perfect. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, stop. <laughs>